guys welcome back to my channel you're probably wondering why is there a big bowl that looks like dough here well because it is a big bowl of dough <laughs> um, I decided to do something different today um, I call it real life Wednesdays so I'm letting you be a part of my real life instead of me doing a review so today I woke up and I was like man I sure could go for some lasagna and I found this recipe on lecruze.com called Dutch oven bread. And it's just like it is. You basically bake bread in a Dutch oven. So I probably should have shown you guys exactly what I did about four hours ago. This has been rising for four hours. And I'm about to take it out. And I guess you're kind of baking bread with me today while I talk. <laughs> so let me wash my hands. And the counter, of course, has been cleaned. Sorry about the water. <sighs> All right. And let's take this out. Normally what they say is you should be able to punch it. And it should deflate. Yeah, I've definitely heard that. So let's take it out. First, let me go ahead and put some flour down. We want to work it out a little bit. Um, I am not like a baker baker or someone who knows everything about cooking nothing like that i just like fresh bread um <laughs> so it tastes really good and i kind of feel proud of myself after i make it <laughs> especially when it turns out well so the dough is pretty good as you can see let's put it down let's work it out a little bit i guess i really didn't need much flour at all so let's set that aside i'm just making a mess for no reason <laughs> They say this is supposed to kind of work the yeast and, and get the gases out and all that stuff. So, let me go ahead and do that for a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. It's always amazing when you're doing dough and it starts to stiffen up a, bit, a little bit and you feel all proud of yourself. <laughs> Well, at least I do. Um, so I'm gonna make some lasagna later today and I didn't have much going on, except I would like to call this my, you know, five hour bread because I let it rise for four hours and then uh, put it in the oven. It's a nice day outside. It was raining earlier, but some nice natural light coming in and we are of course in my kitchen and not the bathroom <laughs> all right I think that's pretty good so let's put it back in the bowl again I'm not claiming to be an expert on bread or dough <laughs> I just follow recipes. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna put it right back into the same pot. I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and then I'm supposed to rework it and put it in the Dutch oven. Because I live in wonderful Seattle, I filmed the other part, guys, of me reworking the dough, putting the canola oil in the pot, all that good stuff. However, it turned cloudy and the video does not look great. So I'm so sorry, but it's been 60 minutes later. I'm not gonna put that on there because it looks so crappy. And the dough has expanded, which is pretty awesome. So, 
What I am going to do now is put this in the oven on 450 for 30 minutes with the top on. I have a gas oven, so things cook a little bit faster than normal. I'm still getting used to it, um, but I like it. <laughs> uh, and then after the 30 minutes, I'm gonna take the lid off and keep it in the oven for 10 more minutes um, at 375. I get 15 minutes last time and it was a little dark at the bottom. So I think 10 minutes will be great. I'm so excited, so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love bread. If that's, if you could ask me what my food weaknesses are, I would say bread is one of them. And I have a total sweet tooth. I love candy, not like cakes and pies and Although I like, like those too, like gummy bears and Skittles and I'm, I'm such a candy person. Um, I'm working on that. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. As you can see, I put a throwaway towel underneath here because I was doing this and this is marble and we don't want to scrape up marble. <laughs> so um, yes, I'm so excited. It's always nice. To have fresh bread with pasta. All right, let's put this in the oven. 30 minutes. Best part about pasta and fresh bread is you feel like you feel like you're in a in a real Italian restaurant. So basically, Dutch oven bread is really just white bread, sort of. Um, oh, I forgot. See, I'm just blabbing one on, and I completely forgot to do the most important thing. Oh, goodness. Okay. One of the biggest things. <laughs> Ooh, it almost got hot. Olive oil. Put olive oil on top. Um, and I'm going to use paper towel, paper towel to dab it all over it. It's a little hack for me since I have not purchased any type of pastry brushes or anything, even though every time I bake something, I'm like, man, I wish I had that little pastry brush. I always forget to kind of get it when I'm in the store. Um, so this does just fine. And then, the biggest part that you don't want to forget is the scoring of it. So get a sharp knife, whatever knife you have that may be sharp, and I do a hashtag because it'll make the bread look so pretty. Like literally, a hashtag. <laughs> there we go. Do the other part of the hashtag. This always makes me think of tic-tac-toe when I was a kid and how that was fun and it was only fun for a little bit. After a while, you just got bored with it. All right. And now we put it in the oven. It's still, it's still fun. All right. Put this in the oven. minutes last time I ate the majority of the bread and what I mean by majority I mean all of it but like three slices so hopefully um, I'm not as greedy as I was last time but it's so good when you get fresh bread and it, and it smells the house up and it's kind of like when you bake an apple pie which I haven't baked an apple pie in quite a while but or you're at someone else's house <laughs> or in a bakery and you smell the apple pie and it's so delicious and it just smells so good it's kind of like that okay guys here's the final bread I took it out of the oven and if you did it right um, based on the recipe you should just be able to get the bread right out of the um, the Dutch oven. 
It's beautiful. And I just used a nonstick spatula to get it out and put it on this cookie sheet. It's really not a cookie sheet. I would say a cutting board. And it's beautiful. It's still hot too, but so pretty. And I told you last time, the back was quite dark. Um, basically, I would call it, I kind of burnt it. <laughs> oh, but it was still really good. Um, and this turned out a lot nicer. And it's just, oh, it smells amazing. And I can't wait to cut into this. You know what? I'm going to cut into it for you guys. Let's see. Let's take out an, a bread knife. Normally bread knives are serrated at the edge or at the ends. Let's see. Oh my gosh. The crispiness of it all. Oh. Can you see the steam coming off of it? Wait, let's see. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's oh, so good. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to let it um, cool off a bit and all that good stuff. But what I do with this, I normally don't put butter on it. You, you can't put butter on it. Um, I put some cream cheese on it. Oh my gosh. And it's so good. Or you can put jam. Um, but for tonight, I'm going to dip sauce all in it with the um, lasagna. But for right now, since I cut it, we wouldn't want this to go to waste. Now would we? I don't think so. So, I mean, no harm, no foul. Let's, let's go ahead and, and open up some cream cheese. <laughs> and... Uh, Let's just try it out, you know, just to make sure the bread is good, you know, and nothing's wrong with it or anything. Let's do this. Okay, I'll cut it in half and it'll make me feel better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just spread the cream cheese on there. This is totally, I feel like this is totally a plain bagel. And you can eat it by itself too. The bread is amazing just by itself. But. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's, oh my gosh. That's just too good. That's amazing. Okay guys. Well. If you like these type of videos real life on Wednesdays, it won't always be cooking, but just whatever I'm doing.